The Zax Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zax Rank Buys. There are a couple of familiar names on the value stock radar and our value stock strategist, Tracy Reinick, as always, here to tell us more about them. So the first one is pretty self-explanatory. Toyota Motors, pretty big auto manufacturer. Yep, everybody knows them. One of the largest auto makers in the world. Yep. They're in Japan. Um, you know, things have been kind of rocky for them. Um, but they seem to be turning it around now. They've kind of gotten through the issues with, you know, quality and things like that that were kind of uh, plaguing them. Mm -hmm. And so they're not in the news for anything bad right now. <laughs> um, but they are in the news for something good because they have the new model of the Prius coming out. Yeah. And I know a lot of Prius um, owners are really eager for this newer model to be coming out. So that analysts all expect that to be a good thing. Um, you can see here estimates are starting to rise. We don't have a lot of estimates on Toyota because it is a foreign company and the analysts don't tend to cover them as extensively. Right. But what we do have, you can see it's starting to push up here. For this year, they're expected to grow earnings in the double digits by about 12 percent and just under the double digits for next year, about nine, almost 10 percent. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good for an old automaker that's been around a while sure. um, and is big. And then you can see the chart. The shares have kind of weakened a bit. I think people are getting a little nervous about the auto story. Um, the U.S. is at record auto um, purchases right now. How much higher can it go? No one knows. And then you have some weakness in China. Um, people are kind of watching that to see if that's going to impact. But this looks like it could be a buying opportunity here. Shares are cheap, only 11 times. Um, the pays price a dividend. Yeah, pays a nice dividend. <laughs> I, I looked at that and I was like, I wow, was, over 3%, yeah. 3.1% 3. Right. right now. So it's a good value stock. It's the Zach's number one rank, and it has the A style score for values. So... Toyota's is good value company right here. And maybe people won't be poking as much fun at the new Prius as they did the right, old Prius. Right. Oh, no, the Prius is definitely has big following. So that's really anticipated um, for that new model to come out. All right. The next one that uh, you want to talk about is Lear Corporation. However, not the airplane maker. Right. Not the airplane. This is also the auto sector. They make the seat systems. Um, also electrical systems for both autos and trucks for all the major um, automakers. They also are, I was interested to find out the um, biggest premium leather maker in the world for the auto seats and anything oh. leather inside the car. It's that's... like very high class leather that they make, you know, hand stitch and everything. Right. So that's kind of interesting little subsection of their overall business. But they're, they're quite enormous. They have 132,000 employees worldwide. They're all across the world. Um, they have also really great numbers right here. Estimates are starting to trend up, as you can see. They're supposed to see about 17% earnings growth this year, another 14% next year. So apparently these investors aren't, you know, the analysts here aren't too worried about the growth. They still see it coming. Uh, they actually report earnings this week as we're discussing this, mm -hmm. but they have a great track record. The last miss was in 2011. You never know what's going to happen going forward because the multinationals do have currency issues, currency translation, which is hitting. But, you know, things look good here. Shares have actually sold off. So I'm thinking maybe some investors are getting a little bit worried. They were at all-time highs. That, again, the auto sales might be coming down. But this is a good chance, again, to get another cheap company. They're trading around 10 times. They also are a Zach's uh, value um, A on the style score, and they're a rank number two right now on the Zach's rank, which is a buy. But, I mean, it's hard to find value stocks here. So, you know, these are two solid companies. They also pay a dividend, not as good. Yeah, not as good. 1%, but um, it kind of tells you, you know, they're still giving back to the shareholders. Yeah, and this week is the week of July the 20th yes. for people following on the calendar. But do they make Corinthian leather? Remember those old no. Ricardo Montalban commercials? I'm just dating no. myself, aren't I? <laughs> I think yeah, so. <laughs> that was one of the sales pitches for one of the Chrysler vehicles okay. in the day. Okay. All right. Do you own either of these? I do not. All right. Check out other stocks and stock picking strategies on our website, zax.com. Link to all of that right off the homepage. If you're watching these videos on uh, YouTube, by the way, don't forget you can subscribe to them and even comment on them. So you might want to check that out. With Tracy, I'm Terry Ruffalo.